All right, let's get on this. Stop messing around. Get it going. All you're doing is uh, talking to your camera all the time. Why don't you get some work done? All right, he's sitting making these videos all the time. And just settle down and enjoy your Lego. Hey there, let's get something done and put some Lego Pab Cups into inventory. These are BrickLink Editions. What's up guys? Back in the tiny office, I just wanted to break down some Pab Cups that I had. I wasn't gonna even film this little session, but I just started going through these bricks and I was just having a really good time with this. So I wanted to kind of show you what I got going here and maybe you can take a look and see how this is going. Really cool sorting session that I have going on with some beautiful bricks. These uh, <laughs> turquoise one by four blocks are gorgeous and I have so many of them. If I fill the pab cups strategically, I get smaller elements, like you see these modified one by one plates at the bottom, tiny little pieces with, with the hooks on them on top. Those are at the bottom and at the top, filling all the way up into the lid. In the middle, I tried to stuff a whole bunch of one by four turquoise blocks. Uh, that's how I did it. I'm gonna see how this turns out for me uh, because I bought, as you can see, so many pad cups here. These pad cups got sort of lost in a whole bunch of brand new Lego, uh, just sort of stored away. And I was just like, wow, look at all this brick I have. Anyway, lots of one by two tiles, the grill pieces, one by two uh, flat tiles. Yeah, a lot of good stuff in here. Um, looks like some sand colored slopes, but really a whole lot of these uh, sand green one by one modified. Check these out. I don't know why someone would need so many thousands. I love to take a guess sometimes in my own head. I like to say, you know how you, you know, guess the jelly beans in the jar? Well, I kind of do that with myself, just in my mind, just a quick thought. I'm gonna weigh them later, we'll see what happens, okay? All right, let's get on this. Stop messing around, get it going. All you're doing is uh, talking to your camera all the time. Why don't you get some work done? Nah, love my video. Yes, look at these bricks. These things are just so good looking. I'm so glad that when I go to the Lego store and I see certain things that grab me, anything that's a tile or these grills, that's easy. This sand green color, that's an easy one for me. I just load up on anything I know that is uh, probably gonna sell well in my store. As you can see, we got some tiles over here, some pink blocks, any blocks will do well. I'm like a kid in a candy store. When I look up at all those bins and all the colorful bricks before my eyes, I cannot help it. I am grabbing those cups that are neatly stacked in the wall. I'm pulling one out. I fill one cup, I fill two. The rest so is history. Separating out is not very hard, especially with the big blocks. You got these one by four blocks. They're real easy, obviously, to pull out of here. And then you have the remaining tiny pieces at the bottom, you know, easily sorted. So now we're, you know, building up the quantity of one by one modified plates with hook. I guess I, I need to know the exact name of this thing, but I will find it quickly. But this rare, beautiful sand green color, so nice. I could see these being used in, in a mass, in mass, uh, with tremendous uh, tiny scale involved, I would guess. All right, well, I'm gonna keep on rolling here and break down some more of these cups and get them all sorted. This has been a fun separation here. Wow, so the more I look at this, the more it's starting to, you know, this was a huge order. This was nine, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine pad cups. This was a massive purchase here. And it was all in the same bag. And I assume it was from the same uh, time I went there because all these pieces, you know, I have these sand green pieces, you know, at the top and bottom of almost every one of these. And then look at all these white tiles. So this is an awesome purchase. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to obviously put these all into inventory, but then I'm gonna go ahead and let you know how much all of this, all nine pab cups uh, into inventory and tell you how much I paid obviously for the pab cups. Uh, what are they, $14.99 each, $15.99 each, we'll get that. 
and then we'll get the price of the new brick that I'm putting for sale in my store. I think that'll be a really cool comparison to see because quite an investment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pab cups. I am not shy. I love going into the Lego store and buying pab cups. I mean, it's an experience. So it's fun for me. And now I get to come home and uh, make sure I can have these bricks available for people. Um, I think that's great because some people like to do their shopping on Bricklink and uh, they like to keep it in that marketplace and that makes perfect sense for me and some people do not have a lego store near them and it might be hard for them to get bricks man i ship out same day at times so you know you're gonna get your order right away so uh yeah i, I probably i do ship faster than lego they take weeks to process their piece orders so uh really your best bet is to go with a reputable good uh bricklink seller someone who's motivated to you know, every time an order comes in, I'm just like, let's do this. I'm excited. So uh, anyway, let's push on and just start sorting some more. I just had to definitely break in and just explain how awesome uh, my experiences have been at the Lego store. And uh, these pad cups filling in my inventory is just something I really want. I love this new, new, new brick. Well, all right. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Look at those bricks. I love it. Let's take a look at what we scored here. Okay, we have a full pab cup, just about full, of the one by two white tiles there, beautiful. Next to it, we have the one by two grill piece with groove. That is a beautiful piece, and I love grill pieces. If you've seen my last episode, I have those in light bluish gray. I have them so many, so many. And these beautiful, beautiful one by one with hook. Yeah, I love it with clip there. That's so sweet. Clip and bar, is that what it is? I, I love it. All right, moving on, we have some beautiful one by four, but it's really like a one by two that puts studs on the side. Boy, I'd like to know the name of that brick, but I will find it very quickly and plug that one in. Kind of like a good piece to have, I'd say. Look at all these one by two cheese wedges. These are nice, beautiful, beautiful slopes there. And these one by two grill pieces with like the 33rd and a third degree angle. I love it. Okay, we got some sand colored one by two by two. I believe that's called. Here we got some one by four pink bricks and we got some two by two uh, blocks modified and these have a round with two studs on top almost like a jumper uh, you see how it puts it in the center so it's almost like a round jumper then I got a whole bunch of these blues to fill the top of a cup got some nice flowers all separated out it did take a little while to separate some of these uh, but really it was worth it and I think I got more in my cup than I would have otherwise if I wanted to grab say these bricks in an entire cup no, that would have uh, shorted me a little. I think I maximized my space the best I could. All right, let's see what happens now. I am going to weigh and get numbers and then we'll do the math and we'll see if I come out on top. All right, for all the love and joy I put into this, I don't even really care. I just really like to separate the bricks and make them available to anyone who may be looking. Well, it has been fun in here this morning and I've got everything counted up, ready to put it in inventory. I've got my big list here. I decided to write big so I can show it later when I get the prices. I'm gonna go ahead and input all of this into my inventory and then take note of the prices of each of these things. And then we'll compare them to how much I spent on all the pab cups and we'll see uh, how it looks. So I'm just really glad to have these bricks in my inventory first off. And of course, in my scenario, uh, I wanna sell bricks to people who need them. And if I am ever in a scenario where I need bricks, I know where to go. 
I know that I can just bust into here and then just go right online to Bricklink and take it out of inventory. So I am hoping to build the largest Lego inventory in the world. Just kidding. I just really enjoy doing what I do. So, okay, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to get these prices and I'll check right back in with you guys. And, uh, sweet. You better know what you're doing. Okay. Because every time you lollygag, nothing gets done. All right. It's time to step it up and put your A game on because there's no more messing around. Join me. I think you know what you're doing now. You're on the right path. Keep it up. Good job. I like what I see good stuff join me okay well we're all done we added everything up uh, we have a whole bunch of units that we just added into the store and basically the entire total as you can see here I have added seven hundred and thirty nine dollars and fifty three cents worth of merchandise in my inventory I paid one hundred and forty three dollars and ninety one cents for nine Lego pab cups Pick and build cups filled with brick. Okay, so as you can see, doing the math, I'm making just over five times my money with those purchases there once they're all sold. So I think it's pretty good. It's pretty much a no brainer. I want these bricks for myself. I also want to provide these bricks for anybody who might need them and who shops on Bricklink. Uh, yeah, just a side note, wanted to throw in this little beauty here. This is one of the mixed bins on the Lego pick and build wall at my particular store. And you know what this is. This is a clear mix of all the bottoms of a bunch of bins combined together. And so what you get is new brick. But it's just mixed up and, and, and going crazy. So, you know, I I did get uh, a couple things separated already. But I'm going to go ahead and go through this whole cup and see what I come out with. It's going to be a bunch of small little parts. But let's put them up for sale. That is a beautiful thing. I was not planning on separating this cup of tiles today. I wanted to do those other cups, but this one was not on the agenda. I just figured, why not? I was having a good time this morning as I separated everything out before. Now I have this other challenge. I was able to set my mind at ease and start thinking about life and the relationship I have with my son and daughter and my wife and and what we do up here every day on this land and my scheduling and what I do to try to take care of myself and do better every day and you know life is crazy but you know when I have this pause when I have the ability to get into my Lego sorting and into my thoughts that's when the healing happens. And I come to the conclusion every time that if I just work hard, all things are possible. Anyway, what do we have here? Check this out. I mean, the sweetest bricks, am I right? Look at these quarter rounds. These coral pink color is so beautiful. I couldn't resist, and this was probably the reason why I started filling up the pad cup with these beautiful, vibrant colors. This two by two plate, lime green. Here we have a bunch of brooms, and I think I just threw those on top. Uh, thinking why not get a you know small drawer full of brooms in the Lego inventory and we have some leaves some flowers look at these little single tooth one by one modified here's the one by one cheese slope and of course all the extra brand new bricks that will find a home someday but not not now there's a couple of randoms and <laughs> like four two by two black plates Anyway, on to the counting. We're going to get this thing counted up, and you know what's next. All right, we are all set to take all the contents of that mixed up, jumbled pab cup with all the remnants of all the bins, I'm sure, all mixed into one place. Well, I took it. I took the time to separate out what I thought was the most important. I grouped things based on the abundance and, uh, and what I know is worth some money. Anything else that was new, I just put into a small bin and I'm not gonna even touch those things uh, for a while. Let's not worry about those. Let's just get the bulk out 
and let's just see what I made. And of course we'll have those leftover pieces, but that won't matter. So I'm gonna input that right into the store right now. I got the laptop all set. I got my pieces. Uh, they all have a home pretty much and uh, they will get their place. Hey, don't mess around. All right, we got things to do. All right, don't be quitting on me now. Don't be giving up on me at the last moment. I need you to the end. I need your commitment. Join me. The only way we can get this done is together. Thanks. All right, and here we go. We are going to look up each one of these items and make sure that they are added into inventory. We're gonna set them for the average price because I know that inflation is kicking in like a mofo and I don't wanna set things to the last six months average if prices are gonna skyrocket because uh, my prices just won't be on par with everything else. So I'm just gonna set it to the current average now and I believe in six months, I may have the best nice. prices Total out there. Nice, score, just added everything up. All the bricks that I separated out of that pab cup, that was a total mix. And the grand total for all those bricks, and I'm just talking about the main bricks, the ones that there was an abundance of. That does not count this little tub here filled with brand new brick as well. I could go ahead and split some of those out, but some of those only had uh, maybe a grouping of maybe five or six at the most. So these will just go off to the side for now. I'll, I'll bring those in later. But overall, grand total, $65.21. The Pab Cup was $15.99. So I think that's a pretty good come up. $65.21, I'm thinking that's a pretty good score. Definitely quadrupling my money if, if that, maybe more. Anyway, I think this worked out really well. Took a little bit of work to split up that Pab Cup with all those tiny little pieces. But you know what, the big score was these right here, these coral pink, uh, one by one tile quarters and uh, they're just these little dots quarter dots and they're great for mosaics and anything else so uh, these beautiful little pieces $28 for this little puppy right here so that's sweet we'll put it all into uh, the shelves very happy you could join me for this one another good test I think the uh, Lego Pab Cup uh, wall is my friend and uh, these bricks, of course, are for me personally. And of course, if anyone else needs bricks and wants to support the AdShot channel, go for it. Come see me on BrickLink and make a purchase. Everything you do supports this channel, promise. All right, thanks a lot. Peace out, we'll see you next time, all right? If you wanna support the AdShot channel, why don't you head on over and check out what I have over here. I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you next time. All right, later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.